Here I go again with another tempered glass case. Should I say another? Well, in this case, no, this isn't another case. This is uh, really something special, I have to say. And compared to the other tempered glass cases I did before, this actually has three sides of tempered glass. And that is really astonishing since, well, the price is really affordable and should I continue talking or should I just unbox the case and show you? Well, you can see it in the back, but let's check it out. Stay tuned and see what I got for you guys. Now this is really a massive package and I have to push the camera far away, uh, almost against the second wall, to so you can see the whole case, uh, well actually I mean the package of the case. Now without further ado, I think it's about time to open it and see that tempered, temper everywhere. Now, I was watching uh, the Linus Tech Tips that about this case, the unboxing and the review and all that other stuff, but I have to say, my package did have the warning for the tempered glass and it did came packed really nicely, no harm to the uh, tempered glass whatsoever on any side and it even has here, tempered glass! handle with care. Now, of course, this out from the box is amazing case. Now, I think you... Now, this is a much better angle, but I'm not going to show you like only like this. I'm going to show you from up close and to see what we got inside from what we got from the back side how the temper glass is removed and how many fans filters everything and i'm really excited so stop talking again and let's do it from close up just by looking at this and these eye crystal case uh, from this angle uh, and all the tempered glass uh, leaves a really good impression. Even from the back side, it gives a nice and slick design. The interior has loads of space, and by that uh, I mean it can fit 240, 280, or 360 radiator for water cooling. Great part about it is that it can fit the same configuration of radiator at the top. On the power supply shroud you have a nice silver NDs logo and on top of it uh, a hole with a rubber cover to nicely arrange your cables. Since we're talking about cable management, uh, this cover gives you more choices to make uh, those cables hidden. This case actually keeps on surprising, so at the top you have something that every case needs. A three-way fan switch for slow, stop, fast fan speed. Alongside with that you have microphone and audio jack on the reset, on and reset switch and two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0. Just above that all there is a massive magnet attached dust filter that is easily removed, cleaned and placed back. Really cool.
The back part of the case just keeps on giving 5 fan controller placed very nicely and reachable which is powered uh, to the Molex connector down below. Then we go down with a nice channel for the cables and at the end you have the HDD cage that stores up to two 3.5 HDDs. Right at the back uh, and behind the motherboard you have uh, brackets not only for one, not for two, but for three SSDs. Another cool feature. Whole back panel has nice holes for tying zip tiles, this making it a better cable management. Altogether good craftsmanship to give your front view sight for sore eyes. The box that is placed in the HDD cage contains lots of screws for the motherboard and the same amount of zip tiles. Front temper glass is also removed easily and again we have that huge and awesome dust filter keeping your build clean. Now case comes with three 140mm white LED fans. This way you can see that there is still loads of space for a radiator between the power supply shroud and the fans. Good job NDs. Now at the back we have one 40mm white LED fan and for this video especially I got to connect four 120mm NDs IAA hollow cosmic blue fans. For the sake of it and for the sake of this video I have connected them and to show you guys how it looks incredible. Now let's test this fan switch control and see how it works live. Now this is fast speed, now let's stop them. They turn off the light immediately and then slow speed, which you can see the light has a bit degraded but still looks pretty awesome. Now this is the part that impresses me the most and this did a great job with the front temper glass giving your build a look that probably everybody will envy you. So the only thing missing here is a nice water cooling loop, but be sure that will happen soon. <laughs> And now let's talk about conclusion. Now we saw the fan controller that supports 5 fans, we have the uh, back part that uh, can be nicely managed apart from uh, well you seen it has a special part where you could place your cables and the other parts well you have to run them flat now loads of SSDs three SSDs can be fit from behind which is really awesome compared to the other cases that I've uh, reviewed and unboxed uh, two uh, HDDs and well it's a bit short of cable management down in beneath the power shroud but hey uh, you could manage it easily and 
no problem for that. Uh, apart, well, you can see I placed uh, four NAD's AI Halo Cosmic Blue cape, uh, fans, and well, you can see it looks really magnificent. Now, usually this case comes with uh, four, uh, the same configuration here, four fans that are uh, LED blue, uh, white, sorry, LED white but since I got these ones I placed those inside uh, pretty decent case for really fair price now you have loads of possibilities here nice cable management two uh, 360 radiators for your water cooling and I mean just just very nice case for very decent uh, price now guys if you want to check them out you have the links below in the caption part uh, the links where you could check the case in more details more pictures etc you have the prices uh, as well where to buy it now i would like to thank you for watching another video with me i'm dario from pc crazy stay tuned for more videos and see you next time bye bye